The Oldsmobile Aerotech was a series of experimental high-speed vehicles manufactured between 1987 and 1992 incorporating the latest in performance technology with the intention of breaking multiple automobile speed records. The first such car was driven by four-time Indy 500 winner A.J. Foyt to a world-closed course speed record of 257.123 miles per hour, 413.788 kilometers per hour, on the 27th of August 1987 at the 7.712 mile, 12.411 kilometers test track near Fort Stockton, Texas. Prior to this, on 26 August 1987, the car had posted a top speed over a mile of 267.88 miles per hour 431.10 km per hour. Development At the end of 1984, the development of Oldsmobile Quad 4 engine was complete. It was an inline 4 engine incorporating four valves per cylinder and dual overhead camshafts, an innovative technology used on a four-cylinder engine at the time. Oldsmobile advertised the engine to be highly fuel-efficient and powerful. The engine generated a maximum power output of 150 horsepower, 112 kilowatts, and 160 pounds-feet, 217 Nm in its standard configuration, outclassing the four-cylinder engines developed by German automobile manufacturers BMW and Mercedes, even rivaling with Honda's 2.5-liter V6 engine. The engineers behind the development of the Quad 4 engine were adamant to showcase the engine's capabilities. Under the leadership of Ted Laukers, head of the Quad 4 engine program, they convinced top management at General Motors to develop a research vehicle which would showcase the engine's true potential. Shortly after in 1985, a group of engineers was formed under the leadership of Laukers in order to develop such a vehicle. The vehicle called the Aerotech was to use a sleek body made from carbon fiber in order to keep the weight and the coefficient of drag low in order to achieve maximum aerodynamics. Supporting the body panels would be a modified version March Engineering's 84 C cart chassis, the same chassis that was used in the winning car of the 1985 Indianapolis 500. Powering the car would be a turbocharged version of the Quad 4 engine, now modified to generate in excess of 900 horsepower 671 kilowatts. The task of designing the car was given to Ed Wellburn, the then assistant chief designer at the Oldsmobile studio. The initial design sketches of the car were completed in early 1985. Inspired by famous Lehman's winning race cars such as the Porsche 917, they quickly gained the approval from GM's top management. The first mock-up of the car was completed shortly after the design's approval. Wind tunnel testing showed that the design was aerodynamically efficient but needed a few enhancements as pointed out by Max Schenkel, an aerodynamicist at General Motors who also served as a staff engineer on the Aerotech project. After many hours of wind tunnel testing at General Motors Technical Center at Warren, Michigan it was decided to alter the design by rounding off the shape of the nose and refine the canopy design. The air intakes were also moved from the sides of the car to the top of the rear fenders. Wellburn had originally wanted the car to have a fared-in wheel wells but an objection by Goodyear, the tire supplier for the project prevented him from executing such a concept. The biggest aerodynamic innovation of the design was the car's underbody, incorporating adjustable panels that changed the amount of airflow that flew through the car's underbody tunnels. This system not only generated great amounts of downforce but also allowed the engineers to adjust the system best suitable for different race tracks. Wellburn's original design incorporated a longer rear end, inspired by the Porsche 917 LH which contradicted Lauka's plan for setting a close cockpit record on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A long tail version would hinder the car's handling despite providing a lower coefficient of drag. A short tail version coupled with a pedestal rear spoiler was deemed more feasible. By the end of 1986, the construction of the first car was completed. The car was tested by A.J. Foyt at the General Motors Proving Grounds at Mesa, Arizona. 
Foyt, who was initially skeptical about the car's potential, admired the car's capabilities as he managed to take the car to speeds up to 218 miles per hour (351 kilometers per hour) on the test track. Foyt is said to have admired the car for its stability at high speeds. As the car neared development, General Motors's senior management didn't gave the car approval for the record attempt at the General Motors Brickyard test track. The development team then chose to test the car at Ford Stockton Test Center located in Texas. After the successful runs at the General Motors Proving Grounds, the development team decided to put Wellburn's long tail design to test as well. Construction of a second car in this specification had begun in late 1985. The second car was almost the same as the first but featured elongated rear bodywork tapering downwards and a different engine, departing from the original 2.3-liter single turbocharged quad-4 engine built by Batten to a twin turbocharged 2.3-liter quad-4 engine, built in collaboration with fueling engineering. The new engine proved to be even more capable than its predecessor and generated a maximum power output in excess of 1,000 horsepower 746 kilowatts. On 26 August 1987, the development team in the presence of FIA officials, tested the two completed cars on the Ford Stockton test track. Initial tests with the short tail version of the car resulted in an average speed of 250.919 miles per hour, 403.815 kilometers per hour, falling close behind the close cockpit speed record set by the Mercedes CIIII V development prototype. As the team went on to adjust the car's aerodynamics, AJ Foyt tested the second car, long tail version. The long tail version proved to be even more capable than its short tail sibling and allowed Foyt to attain a top speed of 275 miles per hour, 443 kilometers per hour at the flying mile after some practice runs. The next day, Foyt set a new speed record with the long tail version, averaging 267.399 miles per hour, 430.337 kilometers per hour after flying mile runs in both directions of the track. The runs made with the now improved short tail version shortly after resulted in a new closed cockpit speed record of 257.123 miles per hour, 413.799 kilometers per hour, beating Mercedes' record by a big margin. Oldsmobile produced three versions of the original Aerotech to prove the capabilities of the company's quad four engine. Two cars were built with shorter rear bodywork and were called short tail versions street, and one was built with a longer rear bodywork and thus called the long tail lieutenant. Subsequently, between 7-15 December 1992, another version of the Aerotech, this time powered by a 4.0-liter Oldsmobile Aurora V8 engine and now fitted with functional lights, broke 47 speed endurance records including the 10,000 and 25,000 km world speed records. Other national and international speed records ranging from 10 km to 24 hours were accomplished by a team of drivers working 24 hours a day for 8 days. These records were also set at the Fort Stockton test track. In popular culture The speed records resulted in a great exposure of Oldsmobile and helped improve its sales. The cars made various appearances at auto shows across North America. A non-functional mock-up with a makeshift interior also made its appearance at various circuit races. Ed Wellburn, the designer of the car was also given the opportunity to drive the Aurora Aerotech in December 2010. However, during that time, the car was limited to a mere 61 miles per hour, 98 kilometers per hour to prevent any damages to the internal components. Topic: See also Oldsmobile Aerotech 2 Oldsmobile Aerotech 3